The Russian army is one of the strongest in the world, ranking among the top three with the United States and China. But is the Russian Air Force worth it? What are the most powerful military aircraft in their arsenal? And can they compete with the most advanced armaments on the battlefield? Well, today we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 most powerful military aircrafts in the Russian Air Force. From the most advanced technology to incredible firepower, one thing is clear. You definitely don't want to face them. But what do you think is the best aircraft in the Russian Air Force? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the military world. And now let's start our exploration into the Russian military. Number 10. Aero L-39 Albatross The L-39 Albatross is a versatile jet trainer developed by Aero Vodokody in the Czech Republic. First introduced in 1974, this aircraft was designed to replace the earlier L-29 Delphin and quickly became the world's first trainer with a turbofan engine. Its performance in basic and advanced pilot training is complemented by its capability to undertake light attack missions. Despite its significant role, the L-39 never received a NATO reporting name. The L-39's development began in the 1960s and saw its first flight in 1968. It gained popularity within the Warsaw Pact as a primary trainer and has since served over 30 Air Forces worldwide with more than 2,800 units produced by the end of the 20th century. Number 9. Mikoyan MiG-35 The MiG-35, introduced in 2019 and known in NATO circles as the Fulcrum F, is a sophisticated multi-role fighter developed by Mikoyan, part of the United Aircraft Corporation in Russia. It represents an evolution of the MiG-29 series, incorporating advanced technologies and enhancements over its predecessors. The MiG-35 is marketed as a 4 generation fighter, offering significant upgrades from earlier MiG-29 SEM-2 and MiG-29 Care KUB models. It features enhanced avionics, including precision-guided targeting systems and a unique optical locator that allows for autonomous multi-role operations without relying on ground control. The aircraft is available in single-seat and two-seat versions. Despite its advanced features, the MiG-35 does not include thrust vectoring control, a feature originally planned for it. By 2022, there were six MiG-35S UB aircraft in service. Number 8. Tupolev Tu-22M The Tu-22M, known by NATO as the Backfire, is a supersonic bomber with variable sweep wings developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union during the 1960s. Introduced in 1973, this strategic and maritime strike bomber was initially referred to as the Tu-26 by Western intelligence. During the Cold War, the Tu-22M served dual roles, as a missile carrier for the Soviet Air Forces and as a long-range anti-shipping bomber for Soviet naval aviation. The aircraft's variable sweep wings allowed it to optimize its performance for both high-speed and long-range missions. As of now, 58 Tu-22M bombers remain in service. Number 7. Tupolev Tu-95 The Tu-95, known by NATO as the Bear, is a massive turboprop-powered strategic bomber developed by the Soviet Union. First flown in 1952 and introduced into service in 1956, it remains one of the few propeller-driven bombers still in operation today. The Tu-95 is notable for its four Kuznetsov NK-12 engines, which power contra-rotating propellers and contribute to its significant noise, especially since the propeller tips travel faster than the speed of sound. With its distinctive 35 docility swept-back wings, the Tu-95 was initially used by the Soviet Air Forces and later saw combat for the first time in 2015. Its role has expanded to include maritime patrol duties with the Tu-142 variant and even a passenger version, the Tu-114. The Tu-95 is expected to continue serving the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040, with 47 aircraft currently in service. Number 6. Sukhoi Su-30 The Su-30, known in NATO circles as the Flanker CGH, is a twin-engine, two-seat multi-role fighter aircraft 
developed by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. Introduced in 2012, the Su-30 is renowned for its super maneuverability, making it effective in a variety of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, and all-weather operations. Originally developed from the Su-27UB trainer and the Su-27PU heavy interceptor, the Su-30 was officially named and introduced in 1996. It has since evolved into several variants split between two primary manufacturers under the Sukhoi Group, Kenapo and Irkut Corporation. Kenapo produces the Su-30MKK and Su-30MK2 models, which were tailored for export customers like China, Indonesia, and Venezuela. Irkut's Su-30MKI, developed for India, incorporates advanced avionics in features such as canards and thrust vectoring for superior air combat capabilities. Number 5. Yakovlev Yak-130 The Yak-130, known by NATO as the Mitten, is a versatile subsonic jet designed for both advanced training and light combat. Developed by Yakovlev in collaboration with Ermachi, the Yak-130 first flew on April 25, 1996, and entered service with the Russian Air Force in 2010, after winning a government tender in 2002. This two-seat trainer is capable of simulating the flight characteristics of various four-plus generation fighters and even the fifth generation Sukhoi Su-57, making it an effective tool for pilot training. Beyond its role as a trainer, the Yak-130 can perform light attack and reconnaissance missions, carrying a combat load of up to 6,600 pounds. With over 109 units in service, the Yak-130 remains a key asset for the Russian Air Force and other operators worldwide. Number 4. Sokol Altius Okay, technically it's not an aircraft, but this high-tech military drone deserves a place in this list. The Sokol Altius, also known as Altair, is a Russian medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by OKB Sokol and Transus. Introduced in 2021, the Altius is designed for reconnaissance, strike, and electronic attack missions. The program began in 2011, and to date, three prototypes have been built. The Altius features a classical aerodynamic design with a high aspect ratio wing and a V-tail, constructed using advanced composite materials. It is powered by two VK800C turboprop engines developed by the Klimov Design Bureau. With capabilities comparable to the US MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk, the Altius offers significant reconnaissance and strike potential for the Russian Aerospace Forces and Navy. Number 3. Tupolev Tu-160 The Tu-160, known by NATO as the Blackjack and dubbed White Swan in Russian, is a supersonic, variable-sweep wing strategic bomber designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the 1970s. Introduced in 1987, it is the largest and heaviest supersonic military aircraft ever built, and also the fastest bomber currently in service. The Tu-160 was created to perform both conventional and nuclear strike missions. After the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, Ukraine inherited 19 of these bombers, but most were scrapped or returned to Russia under arms reduction agreements. Today, the Russian Aerospace Force's long-range aviation operates 15 Tu-160s. In November 2015, the Tu-160 made its combat debut during the Russian military intervention in Syria, where it conducted numerous airstrikes with Kh-111 cruise missiles. The bomber has also been deployed on international missions to countries such as Venezuela and South Africa. Since the early 2000s, the Tu-160 fleet has undergone upgrades, particularly in electronics. Number 2. Sukhoi Su-35 The Su-35, known by NATO as the Flanker EM, is a highly advanced multi-role fighter jet developed by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau. Introduced in 2013, the Su-35 is an improved derivative of the Su-27 air defense fighter, featuring significant enhancements over its predecessors. Initially developed in the Soviet Union as the Su-27M, the Su-35 incorporated advanced technologies such as canards and a multifunction radar to expand its role beyond air defense. The first prototype flew in 1988, but after the Soviet Union dissolved, the aircraft was rebranded as the Su-35 to attract export orders. 
Early versions included the SU-37, which featured thrust vectoring engines, and the SU-35UB, a two-seat trainer. The Su-35 underwent a major, deep modernization in the early 2000s, resulting in the current Su-35S model. This version includes advanced avionics, a redesigned cockpit, and thrust vectoring engines, reflecting technologies from the Sukhoi Pak FA program. Number 1. Sukhoi Su-57 The Su-57, known by NATO as the Felon, is Russia's first stealth multi-role fighter aircraft, developed under the PAKFA program that began in 1999. As Sukhoi's internal designation T-50, the Su-57 represents a significant leap in Russian aviation technology, combining stealth capabilities with advanced avionics and supermaneuverability. Designed to perform a range of missions including aerial combat, ground strike, and maritime attack, the Su-57 features stealth technology to reduce radar cross-section and enhance survivability. It also boasts super cruise capability, allowing it to maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners and can carry a large payload. The aircraft made its maiden flight in 2010, but development faced delays due to technical and structural issues, including a crash of the first production model. And there you have it, folks. These were the most formidable aircraft in the Russian Air Force. From the high-performance Su-57 to the versatile Yak-130, these machines represent the pinnacle of aviation technology. Did your favorite aircraft make the list? Write it down in the comment. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell button to stay updated on our latest contents. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.